readings in this video, I'm going to help you fix an Amazon Fire tablet that keeps overheating. So that is a common uh, thing with tablets as they get older, but I'm here to help you fix the issue. First thing what I want you to do is make sure that your tablet's in a cold place. So if you're in a car using it, you're driving, and you're a passenger, and the sun's hitting down on it, try to put it in a shaded area. Um, you could actually use a fan to uh, use it right beside a fan that's blowing on it. There's actually, they have chiller pads that you can put under on top of it, a chiller pad where air will blow up, which is a good thing. Um, if you have a case on there, like a, like a leather case or a hard case, go ahead and remove it and just use it like it, like it, you got it out of the box. Because a lot of times those ca cases will make them overheat. Okay, the next thing I want you to do is check your charger. Sometimes chargers do go bad and they will make them overheat. So get another power cord. Uh, the Fires uses a standard USB-C. Let me show you the end of it. It's the thicker one. Okay, like this. USB-C, you can get them on Amazon or whatever. If you're hooking it up to a laptop or a computer, try a different USB port on the laptop or computer. If you haven't hooked it up to a wall, hook it up to a wall. And you might find that it's the energy is more, much more efficient. Get you a wall adapter and plug it into a wall. And you might find that that will help you uh, to fix it. Now, next thing I want you to do is close any unnecessary apps. To do that, what you're going to do is go to settings, which is that little gear shift thing here. And what you're going to do is go up to apps and notifications. These are all your recent apps. So what I want you to do, if you see them, any of them that you're not using, go ahead and click on it and then click force stop. If you'll never use it again, go ahead and click uninstall. Okay. And that'll fix the problem. Also next, go to see all of your apps, which is there's several here that are no good games. What you could do is you can go onto it and then you could force stop that or better yet uninstall if you can. Clearing up storage space will actually make it cooler to run because it's the, the cache memory is not dealing with so much uh, storage. Okay, that will help it a lot. All right, next thing what I want you to do is um, go to software updates. So back into settings where you go and then go all the way close to the bottom. And then on the bottom, what I want you to do is click device options and then do a system update. All right. After system update, go ahead and restart. And then see if that will fix your uh, fix it. A lot of times it will. Next thing what I want you to do is go to battery. Okay. And what I want you to do is click low power mode. And you'll see that that will optimize the battery, which in turn will be a lot better on your uh, on your power so it won't overheat. Down here, you can go to display settings and um, look down through here and see if there's anything that you need to, sh to change on here. Brightness level, you might want to make it a little bit less bright. Okay. All right. Next, what we're going to do is, let's see here if there's display. To go to display. Now you could, again, change the brightness level there. You can click sleep here. And I got it on a hefty five minutes. So basically when you're away, if you're going to the bathroom or coffee, it'll stay on. You might want to lower that to, it'll go to sleep after two minutes or even better yet, a one minute. You'll be surprised that the collective amount of time that you're using it will make it overheat. All right, so you want it to time out a little bit quicker. Next, let's go back to settings. And then from here, what we're going to do is we're going to go to um, apps. Let's see here. Apps and notifications. We're going to click on all apps, and then we'll go all the way down to settings, which is way down here. Uh, settings. Oh, by the way, while we're down here, if you see TikTok on your screen, this is a side point, and you never use it, Go ahead and uninstall it. It takes a whopping one gig and one and a half gigs. Um, and plus, I don't like being spied on. So that's just a side note. All right, go to settings. 
And then from settings, what you can do is go to, uh, where is it? Data usage? No, actually, storage. I want you to clear cache and clear storage. That could take a couple of minutes, then back out, and then restart the tablet, and then see if that will fix the issue. Uh, last but not least is to do a full factory restore. Let's go back to settings. This will wipe out all your all your pictures and your videos, and it's like it's fresh out of the box. But you might want to do that anyway because it will freshen up your tablet and give you more life. I've had tablets that I've had two years. They started to become slow. I thought about just re doing a factory reset and donating. But then I started using it. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's like a new tablet. So go to settings, and then from there go to device options. And then from there do... Uh, Reset to factory defaults, and that will take about 30 minutes. You want to make sure it's plugged up, and you have 50% battery power. That should do it. Make sure you subscribe. Let me know in the comment section which method work, or if you found a new method, put it in there so other people can read it, and that way they can, they can know what to go directly to for their tablet. All right, thanks for watching. Subscribe.